All month, 4029 is working with local police to find people from our area who have vanished without a trace. Tonight, police need your help to find Morgan Nick. She was abducted near an Alma baseball field nearly 20 years ago. This is an age progression of what she could look like now. 4029's John Paul shares a family's fight to bring her home. For the long lost, every year the odds of returning home get smaller. So small, in fact, you can count on one hand. For Colleen Nick, a small number is still a small chance. I understand that 2% is really small, but again, J.C. Dugard, the girls from Ohio, Elizabeth Smart, Sean Hornbeck, all these kids and these young adults who fell into the 2% and made it home. That's what I'm fighting for. Here in Alma, Arkansas, you'll find mom and pop shops and reds, whites, and blues lining the main drag. You'll also see signs of a painful past, a heartbreaking reminder from nearly two decades ago. A picture of a six year old girl, Morgan Nick, who disappeared about a block away from here. This is where the baseball field used to be, and this is where Morgan's mom, Colleen, watched her daughter over there playing. Morgan was in the parking lot by the family car with two other children. Colleen turned around briefly. When she went to check on Morgan, over there, she was gone. It happened on a Friday, June 9th. 1995. Almost 20 years later, Colleen's fight to bring her daughter home continues. We want people to remember that Morgan is still missing. We don't want the passage of time to cause people to forget about her case, to forget that she hasn't been found. As you can see, people haven't forgotten about Morgan. This is the case file. More than 10,000 pieces of evidence. Over the course of 20 years, the number of tips, phone calls, leads, pieces of information to Alma police has outgrown folders and boxes. Now we don't get as many leads now as we did in the beginning, but they still come in and they continue to make uh, you know, our case file larger as we work them. Yet the clue to Morgan Nick's whereabouts or her abductor is still out there. Our family understands that a lot of people don't think that Morgan survived. Um, but even if that's the case and Morgan didn't survive, what that means is then that we have a killer who's walking around in our communities and needs to be brought to justice. Police have a picture and description of a person of interest, a man between the age of 23 and 38 at the time of her disappearance, about six feet tall with a medium to solid build, mustache and beard. Witnesses say a red Ford pickup with a white camper parked nearby disappeared around the same time as Morgan. It really goes back to the fact that somebody knows what happened. And, and they may not even be aware that they hold the key piece of information, but somebody knows what happened. Outside the doors of the Morgan Nick Foundation, the Bible verse, Love Always Hopes. It's helped Colleen as an advocate for other parents with missing children. Some recovered. Our fight started because of Morgan. And it keeps her going. Here's the thing. Um, someday, when Morgan comes home and she looks me in the eye, I want to be able to look at her and say, I never stopped fighting for you. I have always believed that you would come home. Um, that's my promise to her. I'm John Paul, 4029 News. If you know anything about Morgan Nick's abduction, send your information to our newsroom. Click on 4029tv.com, selection of our website, 4029tv.com, or you can tweet us. Just use the hashtag, hashtag 4029themissing, or send us a message on the 4029 Facebook page. On our website, you can also find a description of the person of interest, facts about the case, and links to sketches of pictures of Morgan. And it's the season for 